Kelly Sheen is reuniting with Chuck Lorre, and there are new details on the Love is Blind fallout. Variety Chief Correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister joining us with more. You and I were texting <laughs> for viewers at home about Love is Blind because you were in the audience mm -hmm. of the reunion that was supposed to go live. I'm sitting at home waiting. <laughs> And you're, you're telling me stuff, and I'm like, Elizabeth, it's not airing. I don't mm -hmm. know what's happening. Mm -hmm. So what have we learned? Well, we didn't know what was happening at the time either. So I was at the official watch party with Netflix, and, of course, 5 p.m. hits, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. And you know how this is. When you're a reporter, you go into reporter mode, yes. even though I was kind of there as a fan. And all of a sudden I say, oh, my gosh, this is a big story. we got to get on this. So we start reporting on it, and I am telling you, Jamie, Nobody knew it was going on. Netflix was saying we're trying to make it work. We think it's live in some places. It's not live in others. We now know by this point that some people were able to watch it that night, but late. I know we were chatting that you couldn't watch it. Not till noon Monday. Right. I was very disappointed. Yes. And this this has big implications. I mean, it, like yes. it's fun to talk about, but mm -hmm. in terms of you know, Netflix is trying out this whole live. Mm -hmm. Streaming companies are trying to find different you know mm -hmm. ad revenue and and things and trying to do these types of things. So. Mm -hmm. You look at it and it's like, what a failure for them. Yes, and this is much bigger than Love is Blind, yes. as you have pointed out. This does have big implications because Netflix is trying to get into live programming. They did it with the Chris Rock special. Next year, they are going to be airing the SAG Awards, which is the first major award show to go to a streamer. So this is a really big Gosh. black mark on them. Now, yesterday on an earnings call, uh -huh. the co-CEOs of the company said that this was all due to a Bug. That's the word that they used. They didn't give much more details. The gremlin did it. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, they, exactly. So it was a technical glitch. They said that we promised to do better, that we still are going to do live programming when it makes sense creatively. So we kind of got an explanation, but we knew that it was a well, technical glitch, but we didn't get much. The, to your yes. point, this is a big failure. Yes. Well, and I, I don't, maybe they just didn't realize the popularity, but yes. everyone in here had been talking about the show forever. Yes. Everyone was going to be watching the reunion. So yes. I do want to get to Rust resuming production, it sounds mm -hmm. like, this week? Yeah, so this is expected because we've been covering it, but yes. it is shocking because we all know what happened. The tragic death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set in New Mexico. Alec Baldwin was holding that gun that ended up killing her. He, of course, maintains his innocence, but he has been charged with involuntary manslaughter, faces up to 18 months if he is convicted, and now they're resuming production. Now, they're not resuming in New Mexico. They're okay. resuming in Montana, but Alec Baldwin is still starring. The director is returning. A lot of people are saying, how can Alec Baldwin return to a film when he's not only facing very serious charges and has been charged, there's also a ton of lawsuits from crew members yeah. against Alec Baldwin. I guess, you know, the show must go on. If you've got a lot of people tied to this, there's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, I love this. Charlie Sheen is reteaming with Chuck Lorre. Yes. Instant hit. Yes, exactly, exactly. So we all know, of course, Two and a Half Men, one of the biggest, huge hits in television history. Well, now they are going to be reteaming on another show that's coming to HBO Max, which we now know is being renamed to Max soon. Yes, yes. He's going to be a recurring character. I have to tell you, usually when there is a hot project, that's what we like to call it, yeah. when you're kind of tracking the development cycle, everybody hears about it. This, this was quiet. a surprise. Nobody wow. heard about it. And as the news broke yesterday in the Variety newsroom, we were all saying, this is a huge deal. You don't get the type of sitcom star of Charlie Sheen to reunite with Chuck Lorre. Well, so especially after all, everything it, they've been through. Exactly. I mean. So surprising for many different reasons. But I do think that a lot of people will be excited to see Chuck Lorre back. And to your point, an instant hit when you get the two of them together. Well, people still talk about Charlie Sheen. You know, we, exactly. we went through that whole period of time. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice. We always love a redemption story, yes. don't we? Yes, and Hollywood really, really loves a comeback story. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Elizabeth Wegmeister, thank you so much for being here for Variety. If you want more information about Elizabeth and Variety, the things we're talking about, just go to kcalnews.com, click Scene on TV.